hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials and today in this video you will learn how to make a sticky menu on the website using html css and javascript as you can see on my computer screen here i have this web page with one logo and this menu bar and if i scroll this web page you can see this logo comes in the left side and the menu goes in the right side let me scroll back to the top and again you can see the logo in the center and below that logo there are some menu let's scroll down again and now you can see the logo comes from the left side and the menu comes from the right side when i scroll this website this menu will be fixed at the top it will not move but whenever we will come back to the top again then only we will see the logo in the center so we will learn how to make this type of a sticky navigation bar using html css and javascript so let's start this video here i have this folder and in this folder i have one html file one css file and another folder with one image and one logo you will find these images download link in the video description now i will open these code file with my code editor which is vs code so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file i have connected the html and css file with this link tag next we will add the code in the body tag so first let's add a div with the class name header now we will add the css for this header just copy this class name write it here in the css file and here let's add the width and height so let's add the width of 100% height 100vh and after that we will add the background image url let's add the images file path so it is in images folder slash the file name which is image.png let me show you in the folder the folder name is images and in this folder we have the image called image.png that's why here i am adding images slash image.png next we will add the background position it will be center and background size will be cover after adding this let's open this html file with the web browser so you can see the background image on complete web page let me close this browser and i will open this web page with vs code extension called live server so that it will refresh the website automatically so now you can see the same web page again let's come back and here in this div we will add one navigation bar so let's add a nav tag within this nav first we have to add one logo so let's add the image images slash logo dot png and we will add a class name for this logo so the class name is also logo after this logo we will add some menu so it will be in the list let's add the ul and li an ordered list and in this list let's add the text so the first one is home let's duplicate it and we will change the menu text after updating the text let's open the web page again and now you can see this logo and these text over here next we have to design it so let's come back come to the css file and here we will add the nav tag now in this nav tag we will add the width so the width will be 100% let's add some padding so let me add padding of 20 pixel from top and bottom and left right zero after that we will add text align center next we will copy the class name logo and uh, we will add the css for this one so for this logo let's add the width it will be 150 pixel and let's add some margin 20 pixel and 0 and cursor will be pointer now you can see the logo size is perfect next we have to add the css properties for these text which is the menu let's come back 
and you can see in this nav we have the ul and li so come to the css file here we will add nav ul and let's add the background it will be black color so we will add triple zero this is black then width will be 100 percent and let's add some space from top so we will add margin top 10 pixel now in this ul we have the li so for this list let's add the display will be inline block then list style will be none and after that we will add margin let's add the margin of 20 pixel and 30 pixel next we will add the color so the color will be white triple f after updating this you can see this menu looks good right now you can see we cannot scroll this web page because there is no content below the header so let's come back and in this html file after closing of this div let's add a text in p tag so this is the text now you can see this text just below the header image let's come back and here we will add a class name called text and write this class name in the css file for this text let's add some padding 20 pixel and 8 percent you can see we have some space from left side and right side it looks good let me add even more text let's come back and here we will add another text so we have more text over here after that if i refresh the website and you can see these text below the header image now you can see if i scroll this website this menu is going up so it will become invisible so we have to fix this menu at the top whenever we will scroll the website for that let's come back come to the html file at the bottom just above this closing body tag let's add some space and add a script tag script open and closing tag now in this script let's add variable called navbar equal to document dot get element by id and in this one we have to add one id so over here in this nav let's add one id navbar like this and in this ul also we will add one id called menu like this so we have added one id navbar and another one is menu let's come to the bottom here we will add navbar that we have created right now let's duplicate this line and here it will be menu and this one also menu after creating these variables we will create one function and this function will run whenever we will scroll the web page so for that we will add window dot on scroll equal to function so this function will be executed whenever we will scroll the web page now in this function we have to write the condition when the menu will be sticky so here let's add one if condition if window dot page y offset greater or equal to menu dot offset top if it is greater than this one then in this navbar 
let's add class list dot add and here we will add one class list called sticky then we will add the else condition in this else let's add this line and it will be remove like this here we are adding the class name sticky and this line will remove the class name sticky you can see i have added this sticky class name so next we have to add the css properties for this one so let's copy this class name come to the css file here we will add nav dot sticky and when it is sticky we will add position fixed top zero and left also zero after applying this let's come to the web page again and you can see if i scroll the website it is fixed at the top it is not moving you can see this navbar is at the top whenever we will scroll the web page now we have to change the layout also for that let's come back and uh, within this sticky class name let's add uh, some padding 10 pixel and 8 percent then we will add the background so the background will be black then we will add display flex align items will be centered and justify content space between after adding this again refresh the website and you can see if i scroll the website it looks like this right now this uh, menu link is not coming in the right side so we have to move it in the right side for that let's come back and uh, copy this one then write ul now for this ul we will add width it will be auto after that refresh the website again and now you can see this menu in the right side let's come to the top right now you can see this logo in the center below this logo you can see the menu text in the center when i scroll this web page you can see this logo is coming in the left side and this menu in the right side but still we need to add one more thing which is transition so let's come back and here we will add transition padding one second now if i scroll the web page you can see this logo comes from the left side and this menu comes from the right side so this sticky navigation word is working fine and it looks very good i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video